last time on Total Drama Island. 22 campers have signed up to spend eight weeks right here at this crummy old summer camp, then have to face the judgment of their fellow campers. It's our first challenge. How hard can it be? I did not sign up for this. Last time on Total Drama Island, 22 campers arrived and learned that they'll be spending the next eight weeks at a crusty old summer camp. The campers were faced with their first challenge, jumping off a cliff into shark-infested waters. And while most campers took the plunge, a few were forced to wear the dreaded chicken hat. At the campfire ceremony, it all came down to two campers. Courtney has experience as a CIT in summer camp, but refused to jump. And Ezekiel managed to tick off every female contestant at the camp with his sexist comments about women. In the end, the first camper voted off Total Drama Island was Ezekiel, proving that homeschooling and reality TV don't really mix. Who will be voted off this week in the most dramatic campfire ceremony yet? Find out tonight on Total Drama Island. Last time on Total Drama Island, the Screaming Gophers kicked butt in the Awakeathon when Duncan took a snooze on the can and the Killer Bass took their second loss in a row. Harsh. Heather orchestrated the first Total Drama Island alliance by convincing Lindsay and Beth to join forces with her. Then pocketed Eva's MP3 player and sat back to watch the fireworks. Nicely played, Heather. Nicely played. Even though Eva could have pretty much kicked anyone's butt here, in the end, it was her temper that got her kicked off. She became the second camper to rock the boat of losers. Who will break the rules of their new alliance? Will Gwen be able to stay awake until the end of the episode? And who will take the next humiliating walk down the dock of shame? Stay tuned for the most dramatic campfire ceremony yet on Total Drama Island. Last time on Total Drama Island, the Killer Bass finally dodged their pathetic losing streak against the Screaming Gophers. There were bruises, tears, risky moves, and dangerous alliances. And in the end, it was Noah, the know-it-all, who didn't see it coming. This week, another challenge will send one more camper on a cruise to Loserville, population four. Who will sink and who will stay afloat? Find out right now on Total Drama Island. Last time on Total Drama Island, a talent contest brought out the worst in our campers. It was awesome. The Killer Bass struggled to find any talent on their team, and Bridget's clumsiness pretty much knocked out their best prospect, Courtney. Gwen stood up to Heather, so Heather swore to make Gwen's life miserable by stealing her diary. Then, she read it in front of the entire viewing world, revealing that Gwen has a secret crush on someone at camp. Then, Heather managed to save her butt by convincing the rest of the team to vote off Justin McGorgeousness. Who will be the next one to walk off this crappy dock? Find out tonight in the most dramatic marshmallow ceremony ever on Total Drama Island. Last time on Total Drama Island, the campers had their survival skills put to the test when they spent the entire night camping in the woods. Katie and Sadie's friendship was strained when Katie's sense of direction got them totally lost. Duncan's mad ghost storytelling skills freaked out the killer bass. <laughs> and uh, Izzy played a prank on the gophers by dressing up as a bear. Unfortunately, a real bear showed up and the gophers spent the night up in a tree, which really sucked for them. Cody peed in his pants and then it rained. Basically, no one got any sleep last night. Ultimately, the killer bass were the ones on the chopping block, leaving Katie without a marshmallow. Yep, the challenge was rough all right, and if I have anything to say about it, today's will be even more brutal. Luckily, I do. What fresh horror have we planned for our campers? Find out next on Total Drama Island. Last time on Total Drama Island, 
The competitors were forced to conquer their deepest, darkest fears. Not all of them succeeded, but others surprised the group and faced their fears head on. In a shocking twist, Tyler let the bass down when he was too chicken to face the chicken. Get it? <laughs> and it was bye bye Tyler. Once again, the bass find themselves behind. Can they pull this one out of the water? Find out today on Total Drama Island. Last time on Total Drama Island, both teams set out on a canoe trip to Deadly Boney Island. Cody hit on Gwen about 80 times, but he made up for it by setting her up with the guy she actually wanted to hang with, Trent. Good strategy, bro. There were winners and there were losers, also known as the Gophers. The last marshmallow was set to go to either Izzy or Lindsay, but the RCMP swooped in and bam, Izzy hightailed it out of there. <laughs> Man, I knew the girl was nuts, but I didn't know she was totally insane. However, one gopher may have secretly done something even crazier when she brought home a creepy stick statue voodoo thingy from the deadly haunted island. Will Beth live to regret her souvenir? And can my teeth possibly get any whiter? Find out here on Total Drama Island. Last time on Total Drama Island, our competitors became hunters and the hunted. Owen's game was way off, and when he finally caught wind of his prey, he totally blew it. And Cody made a new friend, who quickly beat the crap out of him. Can anyone say Medivac? In a weird and strangely watchable twist, Lashana, Lindsay, Beth, and Heather turned their paintball guns on each other. It was a full-on wrestle for dominance within the females of the Gopher Squad, and the Gophers were sent to the bonfire. In the end, however, it was Cody who got the shaft. The Gophers are still the underdogs. Can they bounce back, or is their goose finally cooked? Find out tonight on Total Drama Island. Last time on Total Drama Island, Things really got cooking between the campers. Heather pushed Lashana too far in the cook-off challenge and ended up one chilly mama. Owen had a hard day. Jeff led the killer bass to victory and the screaming gophers got to the bottom of their losing streak. It was buh bye bet. Have the gophers broken the curse and just how much trust do they have in one another? Find out this week on Total Drama Island. Last time on Total Drama Island, the teams were given three challenges that tested their trust in their teammates. The rock climbing challenge revealed more than just Heather's grudge against Gwen. And Trent got the bad end of a blowfish, courtesy of Lindsay. DJ trusted Jeff with his pet bunny. Huge mistake, by the way. Some other campers got dropped on their butts and Duncan shocked Courtney by showing her his softer side. Yeah, touching moments, good times. Stay tuned for the most dramatic bonfire ceremony yet on Total Drama Island. Last time on Total Drama Island, the 11 surviving campers were put through Master Chief Hatch's brutal boot camp. Duncan was the first to be sent to the brig by Major Harshness for disorderly conduct. Shocker. But what was a surprise was when by the book Courtney smuggled food to POW Duncan. The two proceeded to pull a B&E to steal some PB&J and ended up K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Lashana won her stripes for the Gophers. And the bass smelt something fishy when Courtney was suddenly voted off. Confession cams revealed that it was Harold who tampered with the boats to get back at Duncan for torturing him. Which seems a bit unfair. I mean, hello, he's a bully. That's what they do. Birds gotta fly. Fish has gotta swim, dude. Let a player play. This week, the campers are pushed to the extreme. Who will crack under the pressure? Find out right now on Total Drama Island. Last time on Total Drama Island, 
A note from a secret admirer got Gwen and Bridget up in each other's business. DJ accidentally knocked his boy Trent off the airplane, sending him deep into the Earth's crust. Lashana showed everybody how to hang on for dear life on the moose ride. Harold showed himself to be an ace flag catcher until he caught sight of Heather's unmentionables, causing him to crash his way right off the island, but not without a little canoodling time with the fair Lashana. And now, let's see what's in store for our campers on this week's episode of Total Drama Island. Last time on Total Drama Island, the Bass and Gopher teams were disbanded into a Battle of the Sexes challenge that put their taste buds to the puke test. With bovine testicles, live bug, insect pizza, and liquid roach juice on the menu, not only was this the single biggest ratch fest this host has ever seen, but Owen's obscene consumption habits finally paid off and scored a big win for his compadres. While the guys set sail on a weekend retreat aboard the SS Lapo Luxury, the girls set down territorial tape, forcing newcomer Bridget to choose sides. Now that Heather has drawn the line, will Lashana cross the line? Can Bridget mend the line before Gwen shreds the line? And can Lindsay recognize any line that's not a tan line? For the answers to all these cliffhangers and more, Stay tuned to the most exciting episode yet on Total Drama Island. Last time on Total Drama Island, the teams were dissolved, leaving each and every camper to look out for number one. And just to add a little more drama to the mix, Izzy and Eva return for more fun. The campers were made to suffer all manner of abuse in the no pain, no game challenge. In an act of chivalry, Jeff stepped up to save his girl from the perils of the leech barrel. And in a deft display of log rolling, a grizzly got a piranha haircut, winning Lashana invincibility. Now that the campers are forced to fend for themselves, who will be selfless? Who will be selfish? And who will eat shellfish? Stay tuned for the most thrilling episode yet on Total Drama Island. Previously on Total Drama Island, campers search for treasure and yours truly put in an impressive performance as a pirate. But this was no ordinary treasure hunt. Some campers put their lives on the line to snag their booty, while Jeff put his stomach on the line, doing something that would make most people hurl. But in the end, the campers who went the limit were rewarded with treasures that, in hindsight, probably weren't worth the effort. <laughs> oh well. Except for Heather, who, for the umpteenth time in a row, managed to win the coveted invincibility prize and avoid getting voted off. Meanwhile, Trent and Gwen's love train went right off the rails thanks to Heather's scheming. And it was Trent who walked the plank. <laughs> Who will be the next unlucky camper to walk the dock of shame? Who will lose their cool? Who will lose their lunch? Find out on the most shocking episode yet on Total Drama Island. Last time on Total Drama Island. In a challenge of hide and seek, campers had to avoid capture by Chef It or join his guerrilla tactics to tag fellow campers. Some had weak hiding spots, while others won invincibility. Meanwhile, with some subtle nudging, the guys convinced Owen to stay loyal to their alliance. Even without lovesick Jeff's help, the guys banished Bridget. So, it was Jeff who paid a hefty price for staying loyal to his girl. Man, that stinks, Jeff. And so did she. Will the guys ever trust Jeff again? Will the girls form an alliance? Will I be stuck hosting reality TV for the rest of my life? Find out on this episode of Total Drama Island. Previously on Total Drama Island, campers had to build their own Hot Wheels in a motocross challenge to race for invincibility. 
There were big winners and big time losers. And there was even some wicked off the track motocross stunts. But in the end, it was Heather who crossed the finish line and double crossed Lindsay by destroying her bike and their alliance. Proving Heather really is a backstabbing user who will do anything to win. Lindsay ultimately lost the race and the challenge, which meant goodbye to Lindsay and her luxury luggage. Who will be the next winner? Who will be the next loser? Who will renew my contract for next season? All these mind probing questions revealed on this episode of Total Drama Island. Last time on Total Drama Island. An escaped psycho killer terrorized our campers with his meat mangling hook and mega murderous chainsaw. There was a large amount of screaming, especially considering the whole thing was really just an elaborate punk. Ooh, 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 I love this part. Duncan was the only one to psych out the psycho, but ultimate victory went to Gwen, who somehow ended up in the kitchen with an actual psycho, which left DJ the chicken heart to float the loser boat home. Only seven campers remain. Who will win? Who will lose? Ow! Who will need a rabies shot thanks to this ungrateful little... Find out on this episode of Total Drama Island! Last time on Total Drama Island, the campers got sent out on safari. They made like they were zookeepers. Although, some of them might want to look at other careers. And Heather and Duncan formed an alliance, which helped a little, although everyone else helped by sucking. This week, our six remaining campers will get way too close for comfort. Will Heather and Duncan's alliance survive another challenge? Will Heather avoid the boat of losers yet again? And who will be voted off this week in the most dramatic campfire ceremony yet? Find out tonight on Total Drama Island. In today's special episode of Total Drama Island, you've been watching Gwen, Heather, Duncan, Lashana, and Owen make their way to the final five. It's been a long seven weeks. So, we decided to give our weary finalists the day off to contemplate how far they've gotten and enjoy all the campgrounds have to offer. But what happens to the campers after they walk the dock of shame, board the boat of losers, and leave the camp? Where are these rejects living? How are they spending their time? And who do they think deserves to win the hundred grand? The losers are about to let it all hang out. And you won't want to miss a word. Coming up on Total Drama Island. Last time on Total Drama Island. In a special episode, we visited the kicked off campers at their resort of rejects, Playa de Losers. We learned that Bridget and Jeff are still going strong, Katie and Sadie still share a brain, and Courtney is still carrying a grudge against Harold for fixing the ballots against her. In a shocking twist, we let the losers vote off one of the final five campers and in an even more shocking twist, it was Lashana who found herself in Loserville, population 18. Who will be voted off this week in the most dramatic campfire ceremony yet? Find out tonight on Total Drama Island. Last week on Total Drama Island, those good-for-nothing campers got swept away by a rainstorm that left them stranded on a deserted island. Meanwhile, the chubby one drifted ashore in his outhouse and made a new friend who has an IQ almost as high as his. The gruesome chick built a raft for her and the delinquent, which left Mouth the girl to fend for herself. Somehow they all ended up together in the treehouse confessing their sins. That's when they came up with a crackerjack plan to find out who was making the fire. But all they found was the secret location of our production crew came. Yeah, it's me doing the recap. You got a problem with that? Since Chris is off hosting some crew crew reward show, I'm filling in his host. And guess what? I ain't happy about it either. So sit back, shut up, and watch tonight's episode of Total 
Drama Alley! Last time on Total Drama Island, yours truly was off emceeing a swanky awards show, so Chef took over as host, and man, was he brutal to the campers. Not only did he dump them in the middle of the woods to fend for themselves, but he left them alone with scary dude Sasquatch Anakwa. They ran Helter, they ran Skelter, they ran into a crowded bat cave. Massive mistake, I might add. Ultimately, the girls admitted defeat, so the guys shared their loot. But the girls outboxed them and walked off with everything, including their dignity, proving once again that hot chicks trump gullible guys every time. In the end, it was bad boy Duncan who took the walk of shame, leaving three glutton for punishment campers heading into our most exciting challenge yet. Don't believe me? Then I triple dog dare you to watch this episode of Total Drama Island! Ah, uh, morning in Muskoka. The birds chirping, the loon calling, the majestic gentle sounds of beautiful northern Ontario. <laughs> Welcome to the most dramatic, thrilling episode yet! It's been a long eight weeks at Camp Wawanaqua and Total Drama Island is about to come to an end. Today, two campers remain. By sundown, only one will be left standing. That camper will go home with a check for $100,000. Who will it be? Brooding, untanned alternative artist Gwen? Or the large and lovable goofball Owen? Go grab a snack. Have a pee if you have to. Sit your butt down and get ready for the dramatic final conclusion of Total Drama Island. Welcome back to Total Drama Island. It's been a long time since you last saw our campers slugging it out for the $100,000 grand prize. Since the competition came to its shocking and dramatic conclusion, our campers have had some time to snack on some real food. No offense, chef. Take a hot shower, get their stuff back, and even peruse their emails from home. There were losers. Okay, lots of losers. <laughs> but there was only one winner. Owen, the youngest of three brothers and a hardcore underachiever, turned out to be the surprise champ Without much knowledge, ambition, fitness, or even charm, he ended up with one massive prize. He's planning a wicked tropical party for all his fellow campers this winter. But first, they're gonna move their booties for one final poolside wrap party. And tomorrow, everybody's heading for home. Or are they? Find out here on Total Drama. Welcome back to Total Drama Island. It's been a long time since you last saw our campers slugging it out for the $100,000 grand prize. Since the competition came to its shocking and dramatic conclusion, our campers have had some time to snack on some real food. No offense, chef. Take a hot shower, get their stuff back, and even peruse their emails from home. There were losers. Okay, lots of losers. <laughs> but there was only one winner. Gwen. The grumpy goth wasn't exactly voted Miss Congeniality, but she did emerge as the camp champ. With her tough-as-nails attitude, she stomached the camp, the challenges, and even chef's cooking, and beat Owen in the final dramatic seconds of the season. Now, she's holding court with the rest of the campers at Playa de Losers. They're gonna move their booties for one final poolside wrap party. And tomorrow, everybody's heading for home. Or are they? Find out here on Total Drama Island. Last season on Total Drama Island. Owen and Gwen battled it out for $100,000. In the end, Gwen the Grumpy Goth won the supersized check but then gave it all up for the chance to win one million big ones. 
With the million smackaroos stuffed into a briefcase, our 22 campers set off on the race for the case. Until the case was eaten by an alligator, then a shark. <laughs> I bet you they didn't see that one coming. <laughs> now the 14 who were the closest to winning have been given the chance to win another million dollars. <laughs> Actually, it's the same money. They have been instructed to report to an old film lot for a whole new set of challenges. 42 days, 14 castmates, one heck of a lot of cash. Welcome to Total Drama Action! Last time on Total Drama Action! 14 teenagers. One engaging host, a dilapidated film lot, and a whole lot of coin. ka -ching! Oh, and did I mention a remote-controlled monster? <laughs> I love this show. Some fared better than others. Owen ran for his life, but didn't make it very far until he chowed down on fake food props and scored the reward. First pick of the cast trailers. Shockingly, Owen picked the wrong one. The girls' hopes of victory were crushed, along with their new digs. Who will be one step closer to the million bucks? Find out on another thrilling episode of Total Drama Action! Last time on Total Drama Action! 14 teenagers, one spooky film lot, and a whole bunch of alien eggs in a world where an army chef wore an alien costume. Only the strong could survive. Finally, two lovers shared a heroic victory. But now, they'll be forced to endure a tragic separation. And so it was that another pair of lovers were the subject of a vote off for the ages. But Jeff and Bridget's love was so strong, no amount of heckling could ever break their timeless bond. Enough already with the love. This week, we're gonna bring the pain. <laughs> well, if I have anything to say about it, and I do, by the way, so brace yourself for some deliciously painful total drama action! Last time on Total Drama Action. He was a boy. She was a girl. And last week on Total Drama Action, a shocking team redistribution pitted them against one another. Our heroine made a fundamental romantic comedy error, picking Duncan first and leaving her boyfriend Trent feeling kinda ouchy. Meanwhile, two men made an illegal alliance, and Duncan's mad thespian skills trumped Izzy's, well, madness. It was all too much for Chef's tender heart, and Izzy, uh, kaleidoscope, was clearly a bit too nutso. Even for this show, will Duncan break up Gwen and Trent's barely their relationship? Will the new locks keep Owen out of the craft truck? Will my non-fat vanilla soy latte ever get here? All the answers, uh, answered right now in another tear-jerking episode of Total Drama Action. People have always been drawn to the beauty of the sea. <laughs> but that's not where we were last time. Lindsay's surfing adventure turned trailer park when a twister ruined her fun. And DJ was stripped bare. <laughs> nice packs, dude. Thanks to Duncan's gnarly moves, the gaffers won the first challenge. Meanwhile, Trent drove everyone nuts with his obsessive nine of everything. While Beth won over her teammates with her intricately woven friendship. Though the Taj Mahal was cool, the next challenge went to the Grips with their Casa Dos Gwen. Tied at one apiece, the gaffers were crowned the Watusi winners when Trent accidentally twisted an ankle and Lashana got down, scoring them a Hawaiian-style luau. With only 11 left, maybe the Grips will stand a chance this week. Find out next on Total Drama Action!
can have my toast, Gwen. <sighs> it was a good movie, right, Gwen? <sighs> I dub thee Casa Gwen. <sighs> Got anything in a G? <sighs> but I can't leave without saying goodbye to Gwen. <sighs> Gwen! Last week, the dry desert heat baked our favorite partners like Roadkill on the blacktop. But crispy bottoms or not, they still had to mount their ancient steed from a hundred foot platform. <laughs> but that wasn't all. A calf roping contest had the teams lasso each other. When Trent's crazy in love act led him to throw challenges for Gwen, she gave him the old heave ho. And then she got busted by his furious teammates, which led to some total drama. Well, poor old Deputy Trent found himself hitching a ride on the 310 to Looneyville. The screaming gaffers won the West, and only 10 remain. Stay tuned to find out who will win this week. Could it be the Grips? Hey, we heard that. It could still happen. We're not losers. Right. See for yourself next on Total Drama Action. Last time on Total Drama Action. Imprisoned in a world they didn't create. Forced to ingest deadly foods and even to taste them twice. Nonetheless, the two courageous teams clawed their way to freedom and a lonely chef made a new friend. I'm gonna ride you till your confidence coats the back of a spoon and your self-respect forms stiff peaks. No more mama's boy these days. But prison is no place for traitors, even cool goth ones. So, at the end of the day, it was goodbye Gwen, hello, Izzy? Yeah, Izzy, that girl is eight shades of naughty. Will she drive everyone else crazy, too? Find out now on Total Drama Action! Last time on Total Drama Action! A girl with vision. Vision that took her past everyday thinking. But when the chips were down, and even when the chips came back up again, she was the only one who could rescue them, searching for a cure for the disease that was afflicting her dearest friends. A challenge was won, a cure found. But will her betrayal... Because I'm talking to this Hey, what can I say? Gross disease movies make me crave a little corn. But it's time to put the snacks away, kitties, because after this totally terrifying episode, there won't be a stomach left unturned. Hold on to your buckets. It's time for some total drama action. Last time on Total Drama Action. The world's toughest chef used spoons to bring out DJ's killer instinct. This is not about right or wrong, son. It's about you and me winning that cool meal. It was no thanks to DJ that Duncan and Heather had the bejeebies scared out of them. Victory seemed within reach as DJ won the scream off. Lindsay surprised everyone by taking charge, earning the respect of her teammates. Beth is going to be our serial killer and that is that! Just as the killer grips were about to cut someone loose, DJ's conscience, aka Mama DJ, got the best of him. DJ called himself out as a cheater, hopped into the limousine, and rode off into the sunset. How will the contestants survive without DJ's gourmet cooking? Was it coriander or tarragon he used in that casserole? Discover all that and more in another thrilling and filling episode of Total Drama Action! Last week on Total Drama Action, our competitors took it on the chin as they faced an all-you-can-eat buffet of deadly natural disasters. But it was Owen's own feet that tripped him up. Ouch! Owen's broken jaw means he can't eat anything till it's met the business end of a blender. Yep, it's a rough life for Owen, but the Your Own Worst Enemy Award clearly goes to Lashana. 
You're a total sham. Better call the fire department because liar, liar, Lashana's pants were seriously on fire. Luckily, we had a submarine tank simulator full of water to douse the blaze in a waterlogged event that had all our competitors gasping for air. Sound tough? Get used to it! Because this week, it's all out war! It's a desperate battle for survival on Total Drama Action! You'll see my star on the Rock of Fame! Mark my words! Mark them! Dead girl walking! I'm gonna do what I should have done long ago. Make Mama proud. I'm voting myself off. Okay. Last time on Total Drama Action! We learned that war movies are brutal. At first, our contestants were flying high, but tension soon ran deep when the grips couldn't capture the footlocker to win the challenge. Despite the inspiring leadership of Admiral Lindsay, her hotness, and while the gaffers technically won that battle, you have to wonder if they lost the war because their biggest conflict is still with each other. In the end, even though Owen's jaw was wired shut, his heart was wide open as he faced a plus-size voting tragedy. Was it time for Izzy to go? Again? Uh, yeah! That girl is a complete whack job. You keep coming back for the explosive drama, I keep coming back for the perks. Car chase this week, and with only eight contestants left, the engines are on and the stereo is set to thump to the catchy opening theme song. It's time for some more total drama action! Last time on Total Drama Action. When Owen's jaw was unwired, it unleashed a hunger like no other. Owen stopped stuffing his face when he and Lashana were snatched and stuffed into safes. The grips managed to free Owen with the aroma of sweet chicken. Still mad at Lashana, the gaffers decided to let her rot in her cell. Quite possibly forever. Yoo-hoo! Tough Guy Duncan got the fright of his life when he was faced with none other than Courtney, who, thanks to her pit bulls, I mean, lawyers, is back in the running. The grips lost, and due to a small technicality, Owen took the limousine to the nearest drive-thru. With only eight contestants left, maybe one of them will stand a chance on another awe-inspiring episode of Total Drama Action! Last time on Total Drama Action! Our caveman movie challenges made some people look good and other people look better. Bald Heather was obsessed with getting hair by any means necessary. And Duncan fell for Courtney. Again. As their reward, the Grips won a mammoth rack of Mastodon ribs, which, due to an onset accident, may be preserved for future paleontologists instead. Will Heather keep her hair? Will Courtney survive the ire of her teammates? And what will become of her and Duncan? Find out the answers right now on Total Drama Action! Last time on Total Drama Action! It was a festival of guts, determination, and sweat as yours truly put our contestants through their sports movie paces. Only Lashana was a little distracted when her rant about the gang turned up on Courtney's PDA. And so, in the end, Heather, the queen of mean, was sent packing straight to the salon. But there's no time to think about our quaffs today. Instead, we're gonna make the best spy movie ever! And we might have a few sneaky surprises along the way. Right here on Total Drama Action! Last time on Total Drama 
action! It was every dude and dudette for themselves as the teams were busted up. But that didn't stop Lashana from trying to forge a secret alliance with Duncan and Harold. There aren't enough rare tress killing yellow 1855s in the world to ever make me work with him. You really are such a dork. Courtney wowed everybody with her fancy footwork during the first spy challenge, especially Duncan. Ow! Cast made it out of a fake exploding building, but failed to defuse some serious stink bombs, forcing them to de-stink in tomato juice baths. <sighs> oh, I love my job. In the end, Courtney and Lindsay got the fabulous reward, a trip to the local stinky cheese factory. Oh, I hope there's a cracker factory next door. I love cheese with crackers. Will Lashana's alliance with Duncan and Harold hold? Will Duncan win Courtney back? All this on today's episode of Total Drama Action! We're alive! Woohoo! It's good to be alive! Hush, little baby, don't you cry. If you two will surely die. Y'all, I really think it might be over now. I'm feeling much. Huh? Oh, sweet whip topping. There's chicken out there. People shouldn't make me hungry. You wouldn't like me when I'm hungry. Last time on Total Drama Action. Just when the cast thought they were safe, I swung in to surprise, I mean, antagonize them. The cast were forced to use their creative sides while showing off their backsides, as they made superhero costumes out of spandex and some other junk. <laughs> nice tights! Of course, they were foiled by the diabolical Pythonicus, super evil alter ego of the villainous Shep. In a fight against evil, the cast proved they could be heroes. And also, losers! In the end, the most diabolical of them all was Duncan and Courtney, who conspired to have Harold vote off his luscious Lashana. Will Super Harold recover from betraying his homegirl? Will Duncan and Courtney ever hook up? Maybe you'll find out right now. Maybe you won't. On another totally dramatic episode of... Total Drama Action! Once upon a time on Total Drama Action, there was a princess trapped in a tower. Well, okay, Courtney got stashed in some tower set for a couple of hours, but still, a bunch of knights went to rescue her. Along the way, some were lost. Dreams were crushed, and a prince prevailed. But it was no fairy tale ending for Princess Courtney and Prince Justin. The girl just won't stop winning. And so, Prince Justin got the boot. And the rest of them lived happily ever after. Not! Come on, this is total drama action. Forget happily. We've got fights, danger, maiming. This time, there might even be murder. So keep your eyeballs glued right here on another homicidal episode of Total Drama Action! Last time on Total Drama Action, Harold took a big bite of Who Done It in our most mysterious episode yet. After the contestants cracked the code of Chris's mysterious message, they stealthily had to fetch prints and DNA from each other. A party reward on a train quickly turned into a hunt for my murderer. When Lindsay was declared the Sherlockiest of them all, Courtney was furious. But it didn't stop Lindsay from inviting Duncan to the movies to make Courtney still more jealous, even if it turned out to be horribly awkward. Will Courtney plot some evil revenge? Is Lindsay going to actually outsmart her? Am I even cooler now that I'm alive again? Find out on this episode of Total Drama Action!
Last time on Total Drama Action, the cast were able to let loose by rocking it, socking it, and trashing it like rock stars. With an appetite for destruction, Courtney won invincibility, prompting none other than Lindsay to engineer a coup against Duncan. But when it came time to vote, Lindsay accidentally voted herself off the show. Will Beth survive without her BFF? Will Owen ever start doing what I tell him to? All this and more on another thrilling episode of Total Drama Action! Last time on Total Drama Action, in a world they didn't create, two honorable warriors and two irrepressible foes battled for kung fu supremacy. No mountain was too high, no obi sash too tight. In the end, Harold won the reward, but Courtney had an even bigger victory winning Beth over. But it's gonna take more than a puny alliance to survive this week on Total Drama Action! Last time on Total Drama Action. A surprise package from the outside world promised big things for Beth. And the cast got a taste of life in zero gravity conditions. But all was not well in the universe as Owen struggled with his new role as mischief maker. In the end, Beth ended her engagement but won the challenge. Courtney ended the girls' alliance but won back her independence. And Harold ended his bid for the million but won a limousine ride back to the real world. Will Courtney and Beth's feud hurt their chance to go the distance? Will a guilty conscience cause Owen to crack? All this and more on today's Out of This World episode of Total Drama Action! Last time on Total Drama Action. An all night heart to heart led to Courtney and Duncan patching things up, but there was a catch. And lovebirds weren't the only animals on set as the cast were each paired up with an animal buddy to train in their image. While some bonded with their animals, others butted fins. In the end, Beth won invincibility. Duncan's vote sent Courtney packing. And a timely message outed Owen as the mole, earning him a seat in the limousine. Which brings us to the final two. Who would have guessed? And who'll be taking home our grand prize of one million dollars? Find out right now on Total Drama Action! What? Me? I'm supposed to read that? <sighs> okay. Uh, last time on Total Drama Action! Our timbers got seriously shivered as Beth and Duncan suffered through the final pirate movie challenge. Whoa, dudes! Looks like that was a blast! They followed that up with a crazy run through every crazy challenge from the whole entire season. And even though Duncan had a massive lead, Beth caught up fast, earning bonus time as the girl who knows everything about everybody. Our heroes were running neck and neck until a final act of kindness led to a tie. One tie, two competitors. Who's gonna win it? Find out right here and right now on Total Drama Action. Let's take a few moments to review some of the features of our aircraft. Safety is our number one priority, so please remain seated with your seat belts fastened at all times. The plane has one exit located here. As we explore exotic destinations, Take time to familiarize yourself with the local architecture. The world is our playground. But remember, refusal to sing will lead to immediate disqualification. When dividing into teams, be sure to give your crew a catchy handle. Upon arrival at our final destination, one lucky competitor will receive a parting gift to remember. One million dollars! So stow that carry-on baggage and lock those tray tables in the upright position. We're taking off for one crazy ride. Right here, right now, on Total Drama World Tour. Last time on Total Drama World Tour. Egypt, land of pyramids, 
land of hot, land of sweaty. Our contestants had loads of fun on the run in the sun. And they still managed to find time to dust a dog, chat up a camel, feed the crocs, and whack a bird. Showing style on the Nile, Team Amazon managed to pull out a win. Zeke found a way to lose. Unlose and lose again. And as the sun began to set on the sandy sands of Egypt, we found out what happens when someone refuses to get along and sing the song. This week, who's gonna sing? Who's gonna dance? Who's gonna sell out their friends for a chance at one million dollars? Welcome to Total Drama World Last time on Total Drama World Tour. Steeped in a tradition, Japan's modern allure is as fascinating as its rich history. Here, our competitors experienced Japan's innovative entertainment, and Harold celebrated Japan's role in the world of martial arts, which resulted in one of the longest eliminations in Total Drama history. Harold's sacrifice means we're three warriors down, 14 to go, with one million big ones up for grabs on Total Drama World Tour! The Yukon, Canada's frozen gem. Here our competitors discovered the thrill of ice flow jumping, the chill of dog sledding, and the buzzkill of frigid romance. In the end, Bridget said goodbye, not that we could understand her. The Yukon, live the adventure! Where will we dump our remaining competitors this time? Find out right now on Total Drama World Tour! It was I who brought dishonor to our team. Only one thing can restore the balance. I think I will miss you most of all. I have a boyfriend. I kind of, I have a kind of, a boyfriend. Kind of. New York, the city that eats other cities for breakfast. Here, our competitors went to great heights to discover New York's finest. From the bosom of Lady Liberty to the Big Apple's rotten, stanky sewer car. In the end, Team Amazon claimed victory and surprise rewards, which meant no one got booted off except the meat grinder. We have lucky number 13 competitors still in the running. And we shall see who will win the one million bucks soon on Togo Drama World Tour! Germany. Here our competitors encountered the glorious Alps. As fun to go up as they are to come down. They also learned why Germany is world-renowned for the care they put into their sausages. From this day on, however, Germany will only be known for one thing. It's traditional dance, specifically the slap heard around the world. There's an even dozen left, but not for long on Total Drama World Tour. Last time on Total Drama, the contestants experienced every pitfall Peru could put forward. They visited some ancient landmarks, hung out with the locals, and did Jay kept his animal curse alive by whacking some wee-wee monkey. Someone's feelings were hurt, and something really weird happened. Team Victory had a victory! Ten contestants, one million dollars, loads more exotic locales to destroy, right here on Total Drama World Tour! Previously on Total Drama World Tour, the competitors were exposed to a little culture. As a field trip to the Louvre sent them scavenging through the world's most important works of art. While someone <laughs> had them chased by a bear, a yeti, and a seriously ticked off seal. When someone... <laughs> 
told Sierra that Cody had tried to vote her off. Dude had to spend every French moment trying to get her head back in the game. DJ's inability to shake his Egyptian curse left him eager to get out of the game. Look out, beasts of the world. But it was Lindsay, who had only just remembered poor old Tyler, who ended up getting the kiss off. But now, it's time to dump the kids in yet another mystery location. Will they survive? Will the world survive them? Find out right here, right now, on Total Drama World Tour. Previously on Total Drama, Newfoundland showed us a whale of a time. Literally. FYI, we did not set this up in advance. Man's got a gift for injuring animals. Anywho, DJ was bummed to be the last Team Victory man standing, but this time around, he just couldn't lose because Alejandro and Heather were messing with him every step of the way. Okay, that's twisted. In the end, DJ and Team Chris is really, 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 really hot tied for first, and the Amazons were spared because it was a reward challenge of the lobster kind. <laughs> Fiber. Eleven players are still fighting for a million clams. Who's gonna leave the fold? And who's reggae gold? Find out now on Total Drama World Tour. Last time on Total Drama World Tour, we had some mechanical difficulties and ended up in hot water Jamaica style. No problem. Except for Izzy, whose squished brain was a major problem and led to our first elimination by injury. Stranded and short on gas money, we were forced to improvise and DJ was forced to admit he was a big old loser. So long, Team Victory. But thanks to a rockin' telethon that raised a tank load of cash from our viewers, hey, thanks for that, eh? We're ready to get back in the air. Oh, man, that's refreshing. Vacation's over. It's time for some more Total Drama World Tour. Previously on Total Drama World Tour. London, England, home to royalty, history, and some very hard bosses. Crunch! Here, Heather went through a painful growing period. We said a surprise hello to Duncan, and a sad goodbye to Noah. And last but not least, Duncan and Gwen had a steamy private moment that wasn't completely private. It's almost like someone broke the lock on the bathroom door on purpose, just so this would happen. But who's got two thumbs and would have done that? We've got nine competitors left and a million dollars on the line. Whose game is getting old? And who's strong enough to grab the gold? Find out right now on Total Drama World Tour. Oppa! Oh, now that is just embarrassing. Last time on Total Drama World Tour. Greece. Hey, it was ruined before we got there. Here we learned that Alejandro may not be perfect, unless perfection means being super klutzy. And Tyler spilled the beans about Duncan and Gwen's kiss. Thoughts? Kaboom! <laughs> I had no idea Cody had such a killer right hook. In the end, the Amazons won, but... No one went home, so everyone could marinate in awkward soup for at least one more challenge. Who's gonna get knocked out of orbit this week? Get ready to believe right here on Total Drama World Tour. Last time on Total Drama World Tour. Area 51, plucked from space to zap your face. Here Tyler got into a prickly situation, and he wasn't the only one. <laughs> you call those lasers? And that's no dentist chair. You didn't think Owen would actually go to a dentist, did you? In the end, Tyler got the shove, and Courtney warned Duncan and Gwen to sleep with both eyes open. Whoa, whoa, who's going to blunder in the land down under? 
Find out right here, right now, on Total Drama World Tour. Last time on Total Drama World Tour. Australia. It will amaze you if it doesn't kill you first. Here, Duncan's new babe tried to convince her team to vote out Duncan's old babe, who flirted with Alejandro to stick it to, that's right, Duncan. Except Duncan and Alejandro were actually sticking it to her. Brain hurt yet? Meanwhile, Cody gave D-Man the business Kanga Puncheroo style. Duncan's revenge, while hilarious, also cost Team Amazon the win. And in a panderific tiebreaker, Gwen took the drop of shame. Only seven remain. Who will get the boot next? Find out now on Total Drama World Tour! I can do this. It's a fish. Last time on Total Drama World Tour. The gang nearly turned into Swedish meatball pops. But our competition heated way up as Duncan put the burn on Alejandro by convincing Owen not to trust him. But Alejandro was too busy working on Courtney to notice. Steamy. That meant Heather needed a little management. But Alejandro was up to that, too. Sizzling. Is there anything this dude can't handle? We'll see. Because this time, I'm adding someone who's going to kick things up to thermonuclear. This show is so hot, it'd take about a bazillion gallons of water to cool us off. And we got them. Coming up on Total Drama. World Tour! <laughs> Last time on Total Drama World Tour. Our newlywed couples fell hard for Niagara Falls. With the teams dissolved, alliances were tested. A few tempers, too. Sierra, however, found that the honeymoon challenge was the perfect way to propose to Cody. But fake marrying our new arrival, Blainley, didn't do Owen much good. Our favorite big body was sent home, thanks to Alejandro's sneaky work behind the scenes. Who will win? Who will lose? Who will be in my hot tub? The tub is for hosts only. I'm a host. Watch. Lights, fights, and a whole world of awesome sights. Right here on Total Drama. Okay, out of my tub. Last time on Total Drama World Tour. Thanks, China. We had a blast. Just not the kind associated with fun. Especially for Cody, who found himself in a love potion-induced semi-coma, courtesy of his wife. Sierra. And since the show is still short on cashola, we had a two-for-one sale on losers, one of whom was assisted by a certain repeat offender. We're down to the final five. Who won't make the final four? And how will I punish Chef for helping someone cheat again? Find out right now on Total Drama World Tour. Last time on Total Drama World Tour. Africa. Come for the safari. Stay for the near-death experience. Here we played a few rounds of the world's favorite game. And then we went on a wild Ezekiel hunt. Except nobody told Duncan it was open season on him. <laughs> Ouch. And after all that, Heather and Alejandro voted the delinquent out. Harsh. Plus, Sierra, the lovesick monkey, rescued Cody from another lovesick monkey. Only Alejandro won and stole him away to first class. Can it get any wilder? Oh, yeah, it can. It's Final Four time, right here on Total Drama World Tour. 
Last time on Total Drama World Tour, this Octo girl, Heather, took down a World Heritage Site. And while we searched for eggs on Easter Island, some old pals stopped by for a nice visit. Along with one seriously ticked off mother of a condor, sisterhoods were challenged, brotherhoods formed. Ultimately, Sierra got the vote off, except some wise guy decided to make it a reward challenge. <laughs> the final four remain. Which one of them will dig up more trouble this week? Find out right now on Total Drama World Tour. World Tour, Alberta. It'll blow you away. How could this happen? Well, first, Sierra exploded when Alejandro called Cody a two-timer. So, she took it out on Heather, and boom, someone got stuck in a hole. Luckily for Heather, Alejandro felt a tremor in his tiny black heart and saved her. But his heart imploded when he found out Heather voted for him. Dude, so would have been a goner. Except Sierra demolished my plane. Did I mention we've got no ride now? <laughs> because Sierra blew it up! <sighs> Our final three are jetting to Hawaii without a jet. So get set for some other kind of race to the million. Right here on Total Drama. World Tour! Ouch! Previously on Total Drama World Tour, the final three took off like bats out of Drumheller. Unfortunately, Cody brought Sierra the plane wrecker along for the ride. Even more unfortunate, a broken Yeti heart. Plus, a good old-fashioned swordfish fight. Good times! In the end, Heather, the Queen of Maine, reached Hawaii first, and Captain Ponytail and Kid Nerdy tied for second place. Ouch! Who will Heather face in the final challenge? And who will go home with a million dollars? It's finale time! Right here on Total Drama World Tour! Last time on Total Drama Revenge of the Island. 13 new competitors were blown away by this year's challenges. They were treated to an early morning swim, said hello to the island's wildlife, and did some totem surfing. Explosive! In the end, Stacy's team got so sick of her non-stop tall tales that they sent her packing, Pearl of Shame style. Who'll go home next? And how much pain can I put them through first? Find out right now on Total Drama, Revenge of the Island. Previously on Total Drama, Revenge of the Island, we learned that although our campers are here to win, they're all losers in one way or another. Really, really big losers. It was a psychological butt kicking that quickly turned literal, then comical, then hysterical. <laughs> but in the end, Dakota got the biggest boot of all. Bye bye. I love my job. Stay tuned as more things blow up, more contestants throw up, and some even try to hook up. Right here on Total Drama Revenge of the Island. Last time on Total Drama Revenge of the Island, 11 bumbling buffoons battled it out in a brutal buffet of bombastica. Why all the B words? Because B proved he was a brave and brilliant improviser who scored big time for his team until his bitter teammate Scott botched it on purpose and B got the boot. And now, 
Tonight's challenge is about fear. And everyone knows fear is a dish best served in the dark. <laughs> huh? Shaft? Wardrobe was all out of vampire costumes. It's all scary. Other than that, right here, right now, on Total Drama Revenge of the Island! <laughs> Last time on Total Drama, Revenge of the Island. Ten campers went on a scavenger hunt. That was spooky and very, very painful. <laughs> and Maria and Vito sucked face. And just when we thought it couldn't get any weirder, Arachna Izzy showed up to do an eight-legged tap dance for a captive audience. And her buddy, Chef. In the end, Brick left five teammates behind and volunteered for a dishonorable discharge. But I put him on the opposite team instead. Hey, it's my show. I can do what I want. Watch. Ah, where am I? Ow! Who will ride the Hurl of Shame next? How many times can I laugh at them before then? Find out right now on Tolo. Drama! Revenge of the Island! Previously on Total Drama, Revenge of the Island, the campers got deep with an underwater scavenger hunt. Mike's alter ego, Vito, pumped his way into Anne Maria's heart and under Zoe's skin. And Mike's other alter ego, Svetlana, threw down some gold medal moves in the water skiing challenge. In the end, Dawn was tossed for swiping everybody's stuff, even though it was really Scott. Sneaky. It's now Team Maggot versus Team Rat. Will the rats man up before they're a man down? Let's hope not. There is nothing more entertaining than a man down. <laughs> more where that came from right now on Total Drama Revenge of the Island. Last time on Total Drama, Revenge of the Island. We saw how clueless our players are when it comes to fashion and how useless they are when it comes to rescues. In the end, Sam got the toss -roo, and Scott and Joe got tossed onto opposite teams. You call that buffing? I want to see my ruggedly handsome face in every toenail. Who will thrive and who won't survive? This is the Department of Environmental Protection. You're busted, McLean. Oh, man. Meddling tree huggers. Launch Operation Doomsday. Repeat, Operation Doomsday. Over. <laughs> what is Operation Doomsday, you ask? Find out right here, right now, on Total Drama Revenge of the Island. Last time on Total Drama Revenge of the Island, the players went on an impromptu environmental cover up, a uh, cleanup challenge, and tried not to get a toxic makeover like Dakota. Mike introduced us to Manitoba Smith, his most rugged and arrogant persona yet. Freak Ezekiel had slightly more luck with the ladies than human Ezekiel. And Brick overcame his fear of the dark to heroically save his former team which made his current team give him the old heave hurl. Makes you want to reflect, don't it? Maybe with a cup of Chris McLean instant coffee. Yeah, bitter, better, better than the rest. Who will survive? Who will wish they did it? Find out right now on Total. Drama! Revenge of the Island! Last time on Total Drama Revenge of the Island, our players went on a hunt for buried treasure, AKA Gwen and Sam. Cameron tried to hide Mike's multiple personalities from Zoe, but spilled the beans to Scott. Way to keep a secret, Bubble Boy. Dakota got a little too cozy with toxic waste and mutated into Dakotazoid. But after Scott used the invincibility statue, Dakota got the hurl of shame. Adios, mutante. Who'll be the next hurl? 
How will we injure them beforehand? Find out the answer to these questions and more right now, right here on Total Drama Revenge of the Island. Last time on Total Drama Revenge of the Island, the players went on a smash and grab graffiti raid. Lightning and Joe's team fell apart after she used him as shark bait. Scott blackmailed Mike by threatening to tell Zoe about his multiple personalities. Finally, Mike fought back, gave his personalities the beatdown, and got voted off the island. Too bad, so sad. Missed a spot. We're down to our final four competitors, and you'll never guess who's next to ride the Hurl of Shame. <laughs> Told ya. What? Catapults are expensive. I need to get my money's worth, but someone else will be flung before the day is over. Find out who, right here on Total Drama Revenge of the Island. Previously on Total Drama Revenge of the Island, an epic air battle turned into an epic fail when Cameron crashed her ride and her chances of winning. Zoe got shafted by Scott, Scott got scared by Shark, and Joe got chucked by Catapult. We're down to the final four. Who's going to the finals? And who's going to be cut loose? <laughs> yeah, like that. Find out right now on Total Drama Revenge of the Island. Previously on Total Drama Revenge of the Island, I took some time off for personal reasons that I'd rather not discuss. Hey, who edited that in there? Not funny, guys. Okay, that's better. Chef led the final four players in a revolting cook-off, which resulted in Cameron upchucking 80% of his insides. Meanwhile, Zoe channeled her inner warrior, transforming into Commando Zoe! Even Chef was scared. Lightning's plan to use Cameron backfired, giving Cam the win. And a scheming Scott schemed his last scheme and was voted out to sea. Which leads us to... What? Hey! No! No! Not funny! That editor is so fire. Ten players down, three to go. Only two will move on to the final round. Who will be left standing? Find out right now on Total Drama Revenge of the Island. Last time on Total Drama Revenge of the Island, the final three went hunting for my old pal Larry the Human Fly Trap. <laughs> Aww, adorable. Cameron and Zoe vowed to take each other to the finale, but major trust issues pulled them apart. In the end, Lightning won immunity and gave Zoe the old heave hurl. Now, only two competitors remain. Lightning and Cameron in the ultimate Total Drama Showdown. It's Brains versus Brawn in a tooth-rattling, ego-bashing, life-threatening battle for a cash prize of one million dollars. Oh. <laughs> right here, right now, on the epic finale of Total Drama Revenge of the Island. Last time on Total Drama, I welcomed the All-Stars to the newly decontaminated island. Then it was heroes versus villains diving into shark-infested waters in search of the one key that would unlock the door to the all-new McLean Spa Hotel for winners only. Thanks to Scott's cowardly fear of sharks, we learned that inside every robot beats the heart of a Spaniard. In this case, Alejandro. And while Alejandro might not hold the key to Heather's heart anymore, he did hold the key to the spa hotel and victory for the villainous vultures. And the heroic hamsters bid farewell to Lindsay via our newest and most humiliating commode of transportation, the flush of shame. Who will be next to pop through the pooper? Find out right now on Total Drama All-Stars!
Last time on Total Drama All-Stars, our heroes and villains went digging for buried treasure and uncovered a few nasty surprises. <laughs> Scott villained it up big time trying to sabotage the heroes, and when he got caught, he didn't take it so well. But in the end, the heroic hamsters were victorious, and Lightning, fresh from a hungry night of exile on Boney Island, made enough bony-headed moves to get the royal flush from his teammates. Twelve competitors remain. Which one of them will ride the sewer system next? Find out right now on Total Drama All-Stars! Last time on a very special episode of Total Drama All-Stars. It was all about teamwork, or lack thereof. Harsh, Courtney. <laughs> awesome, but harsh. The challenge? An epic leech ball battle brought out everyone's inner psycho, especially Joe's, which is why she got flushed. But it was an unexpected act of valor that inspired my brilliant switcheroo. Now, Duncan's a hero, Courtney's a villain, and I'm a genius. Oh, it's gonna get nasty. Will the villains crush the hero's winning streak? Find out now on Total Drama All-Stars. Last time on Total Drama All-Stars. After swapping teams, Courtney and Duncan were stuck living with the enemy. <laughs> but while Courtney was given the cold shoulder by every villain except Scott, Duncan got a hero's welcome so warm it made him question his own bad boyhood. At challenge time, giant pancakes were gobbled down and, in a few cases, thrown right back up thanks to a barftacular obstacle course. <laughs> Way to re-swallow, bro. The heroes finish first, but an uneaten chunk of cake in Sam's pocket sent the heroes to Loserville, and Sam took a particularly awkward flush of shame. Only 10 players remain. Which one of them is gonna take a circular swim in the big porcelain bowl? Find out right here right now on Total Drama All-Stars! Last time on Total Drama All-Stars, the island was bathed in a rare blue harvest moon that turns normally sweet creatures into pure evil. Totally unsafe to be out after dark in that. So, I made it a night challenge. <laughs> As they raced, Heather pretended to be affected by the moon while Cam and his broken specs got ditched by Mike. Or was it Mike? In the end, the villains won again, and Cameron volunteered to be the homebound hero for reasons unknown. <coughs> Sierra. <coughs> but in a final twist, Cameron became the newest member of the villainous vultures. But that was then, and this is now. And we can't stop it, so we gotta top it right here on Total Drama All-Stars! Last week on Total Drama All-Stars, the campers were treated to a day in the fun zone where anything can happen except fun. Heather found the hidden invincibility statue. Too bad someone else found it after her. And Sierra adopted a new, uh, pet. In the end, the heroes got the victory, and Alejandro was headed for the flush of shame until he pulled off the biggest surprise of the night. Way to play possum, Captain Secret Legs. Can the heroes hold their lead? Will the villains live up to their name? Will my breakfast get here before lunch? Find out right now on Total Drama All-Stars! Last time on Total Drama, a brutal teens versus mutants fisticuffs free-for-all proved beyond all doubt that these guys will do anything for a million bucks. Even newly refriended Courtney and Gwen had to battle it out. <laughs> the villains ruled victorious, but in a last-minute twist, the villains got to send a loser hero home, and the heroes got to send a winner villain to exile. So, it was see ya tomorrow, Alejandro, and see ya never, Sierra. Only eight players remain. 
and none of them are ready for how everything is about to change. Right here, right now, on Total Drama All-Stars! Last time on Total Drama All-Stars, the teams were no more, and it was a free-for-all race to the floating machines for a regatta to boat around Wawanaqua. But some floated better than others for some reason. <coughs> Mal! <coughs> and Chef supplied some dynamite entertainment. Alejandro won the challenge. And Duncan proved he still had a little villain in him after all. <coughs> Cameron would have gotten the flush, but he was saved by Duncan's court-ordered exit, complete with police escort. That'll learn him. <laughs> Seven players move on. Soon, one more will be gone. Who will it be? Stick around and see. Here on Total Drama. All Stars! Last time on Total Drama, we celebrated our 100th episode with a surprise guest appearance and a kidnapping of the hosty kind. But I stayed strong. Hey, who put that there? Ahem. Alejandro found out who sabotaged the last boat and made himself an insurance policy. And Courtney proved to be quite the klutzy kisser. Okay, someone is so getting fired. Chef is a stress eater. Mal betrayed Cam. Gwen stopped Zeke. Cam got hurt. Cam got flushed. That is it. Luckily, nothing gets me out of a bad mood faster than upping the ow factor in a challenge. Stick around to see who goes down right here on Total Drama All Stars. Tell the editor to meet me at the Flush of Shame! <laughs> Last time on Total Drama All-Stars, Gwen found out that Courtney got kissy with Scott and Cameron. And their on-again, off-again friendship went way off. Alejandro hit a DVD of Mike's bad behavior somewhere beyond the range of my cameras. Oh, that handsome weasel. And the final six ran the brutal obstacle course and proved that the old saying is true. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you really, really sore. <laughs> the winner? Zoe, thanks to Mike. Or was it Mal? <laughs> Seriously, who was it? I can't tell those guys apart. The flushy? Definitely Alejandro. Adios, Alejerko! Only five players remain. Who will live to play another day? And who will go sightseeing in Sewer City via the dreaded flush of shame? Find out right here, right now, on Total Drama All-Stars! Last time on Total Drama All-Stars, the final five went on a slippery, saucy Sunday shopping spree with extra, are you nuts? Speaking of slips, Courtney probably should have destroyed her incriminating chart before Mike got his hands on it. Or is he Mal, now and forever? Either way, thanks to his latest dirty trick, Zoe won the challenge and Courtney got the watery boot. Four players remain, but not for long. <laughs> okay. Who's going to the finale? And who's going to get a bacterial infection if someone doesn't stop using the flush of shame? Seriously, bro, we put people in there. It's all or nothing time right here on Total Drama All-Stars! Ew. This season on Total Drama All-Stars, 14 competitors return for another shot at $1 million. Your favorite heroes and villains battled for supremacy in our most painful and grueling challenges ever. But it was the betrayals that cut the deepest. Gwen dropped Duncan. Alejandro could walk the whole time. Courtney lied about wanting to go to the end with Gwen. And Mike repeatedly left his best friends in the lurch. Or was it all 
all the work of Mal, Mike's evil new personality. In the end, Zoe won the penultimate challenge, and Gwen and Scott took a ride in the flush of shame. After 12 killer challenges, we're down to our final two players. Who will take home the million dollar prize? Oh, dude. <clears throat> Will it be Zoe or the evil genius formerly known as Mike? Find out right here, right now, on the season finale of Total Drama All Stars! Last time on Total Drama Pocketail Island. It's an all new season with an all new island and all new victims. I mean, competitors. <laughs> Two incredible teams were created. And by incredible, I mean incredibly weird. The first challenge was to build themselves a home, and the Gino Sewax Tree Fort was a hands down winner when compared to Team Musquak's useless and unbalanced Wizard's Tower. And for doing nothing but making annoying noises and, well, being annoying in general, Beardo was the first one to be fired away in our Cannon of Shame debut. So, what first can we expect during our second challenge? Find out soon on Total Drama Pocketail Island! Last time on Total Drama Pocketail Island. The teens ran a super slippery race while holding some very rare pork. Ella sang again. And Jasmine won it for the Pima Patel Gino Sewak. And while Team Juanita Muskwak had to say later to Leonard the Larper, they did find a cave to call home. Today's challenge is treacherous, deadly, and unless you're doing it, hilarious. <laughs> will survive to play another day and who will be sent home via giant cannon airlines find out right here right now on total drama Pocketail island last time on total drama the teams went wild with balloon animals and not the kind you think but in the end team gino sewak went bust and for the first time they had to send a member home so, Amy told everyone that Sammy was lamey, but Sammy posed as Amy, so Amy took the blamey. Shamey on Sammy. Now, let's start the gamey. It's time for Total Drama Pocketail Island! On the last episode of Total Drama, it was a battle of truth or scare, judged by Clucky the Poultry Polygraph where the competitors had to tell the truth or complete a scary slash disgusting challenge. Failure meant this would happen. Looked like something might be uh, brewing between Sky and Dave. <laughs> but in the end, it was Rodney's chicken taunting and sausage fingers that lost him for Team Gino Sewak and got him voted off. Who's next to let their team down in a hilarious and hurty way? Find out now on Total Drama Pocketail Island! Last time on Total Drama Pocketail Island, the teens battled in the Smash, Splash, and 123X Dash got to meet Scuba Bear. That's right, Scuba Bear. Sean's fear of zombies really helped him out, but didn't do much for Jasmine. Sugar smacked the samey out of Amy. And after Team Muskwalk won, just to be on the safe side, we put Amy and Samey in the cannon. We're down to nine, which is great. And it's soon to be eight. Who'll go kaput and who'll stay put? Let's find out here on Total Drama Pocketel Island! Last episode was crammed full of monkey, and monkey crammed full. And although Team Gino Sewak got trapped, it was Team Muskwak who lost a player. All because Ella, sweet, sweet Ella, went against my wishes and sang her own swan song. Hey, beat it! Ella's gone. I shot her. <laughs> from a cannon, off the island. Thank you. Anyway, what were we doing? Oh, right, eight players remain. Who will stay and who gets blasted away? Find out right here, 
right now on Total Drama Pocketel Island. Last time on Total Drama, the players had a ball that quickly rolled into a pit that everyone had to escape. Dave tried to kiss Sky a lot. Then he made out with a bat. Sugar found a way to shed a little light on things, while Max and Scarlet found more than they should have. And Team Musquak showed us how not to win a challenge in the most disgustingly hilarious way ever. No one went home, but I busted out a little McLean evil and made Max and Sky switch teams. But this is today, and someone will blast away. So hip. Hooray for Total Drama Pocketail Island! Last time on Total Drama Pocketail Island, Dave made sure things with he and Sky were still okay. And they weren't. <laughs> My insane challenge put the teams in some crazy dangerous situations. We saw a side of Max that was even creepier than the side he'd been showing us. And Topher got a very important phone call from the network saying he was taking over as the new host. Sadly for Topher, the calls were from me. And I'm a liar. Topher got the blame, the cannon went plam. Now it's back to the game and only seven remain. Who's next to go? Just watch the show. It's time for Total Drama Pocketail Island. Last episode of Total Drama went down nice and easy. One juggy chunk at a time. Then it was time for a stomach turning game of Hurl and Go Seek. With his heart broken, Dave voted himself off. And that's about it. Absolutely nothing strange happened. Just like nothing's happening now. Nope, nothing to see here. Uh, just a regular day. Get ready for total drama. Last time on Total Drama, we had some uh, technical difficulties. Then someone, clearly not me, accidentally activated the island's automated self-destruct sequence. We had an hour to shut down the main computer or the island would blow, killing everyone who wasn't aboard a fancy helicopter. Scarlet made it to the control room with loads of time, but went loco, big time, and demanded the million bucks or Bye bye, Island! With the help of an exceedingly handsome Chris bot, the teens gently subdued Scarlet and very carefully shut down the main computer. I then cashed in some of my cannon miles so that Scarlet and Max could travel home together. Today, four will become three, and soon we will see who will go kabloom, or should I say whom? Whom cares? Let's start the show. It's total. Drama, Pocketail Island! Last time on Total Drama, the final four took a simple foot race to stanky new heights. <laughs> Nasty! <laughs> with Jasmine and Sean showmancing it up, Sky was forced to partner with her cabbage-eating nemesis, Sugar, which was actually a very good idea. Until it became a very bad idea. In the end, Jasmine was the last to reach for the top and the next to take the dreaded hop into the giant pea shooter of shame. It's four no more. We're down to these three. And soon, one more of them will blast free. So, who's going to be in your final two? I wanna know, don't you? Let's do, here on Total Drama Island Pocket 2. Previously on Total Drama, Sean, Sugar, and Sky created their own challenges. Sky came up with hurdles. Sean jumped them. Sugar collected them. Sean's treetop race was more entertaining than a sawing monkey. Not only did Sugar win, she had flung doing it. <laughs> so, 
it all came down to Sugar's Challenge, a talent show. Sheriff Sky belts blasted targets to bits. We were all moved by Sean's armpit opera. And when Sugar combined rap and country music, well, it was something I will never forget. See ya! <laughs> down to two from three, cause now we're sugar free. But it'll still be sweet to see who gets beat. So, grab a seat. There's one million bucks on the line. It's finale time on Total Drama Pocketail Island. Last time on the Redonculus Race, 18 teams started a race around the world. After a lot of running, waiting, even more running, confronting fears, and pushing themselves further than I thought possible, everyone reached the airport and booked themselves on three different flights to Morocco. Flight number one, with six teams aboard, has already departed. <laughs> the next six teams are on flight number two, which is about to take off. Meanwhile, the Goths, LARPers, Adversity Twins, Surfer Dudes, Step Brothers, and Tennis Rivals flight will not be departing for another hour. Will one of these teams suffer the ultimate reality show humiliation and get kicked off first? Time to find out! This is the Redonculus Race! Last time on the Redonculus Race. After shopping for spices and cameling through the Moroccan desert, our teams built up a hearty appetite. And I lost mine. These people are disgusting. The winners were best friends Carrie and Devin. In my book, everyone else was a loser. But we could only eliminate one team. And last week, it was the LARPers. I'm not sad. Those wannabe wizards freaked me out. But that was then. And this is the Redonculus Race. Last time on the Redonculus Race, teams traveled to Paris where their wills were tested, their artistic limits were pushed, their bravery was challenged, and Owen ate more cheese than scientifically possible. In the end, it was the police cadets who locked up first place. But for tennis rivals Jerry and Pete, it was game, set, somebody light a match, cause man, woo, did they stink. Who'll stink it up today? Oh, they've all got potential. Stay tuned, cause it's time for... The Redonculus Race. Last time on the Redonculus Race, our teams got chummy with sharks, some more than others. Once they'd finished making castles in the sand, it was a boat race from the Mediterranean to the coast of Iceland. It looked like last place belonged to our surfer dudes, but it was the geniuses who choked on their own massive brains and got eliminated. Who will choke on their brains this week? <laughs> There's zero chance of it being me. Ready to kick it? Good, cause it's time for the Redonculus Race. Last time on the Redonculus Race, our teams got geysered in Iceland. <laughs> what fun! Then they had to either chip out a fossil or choke down an Icelandic Thanksgiving feast. The gods came in first and went crazy. The vegans went rogue but still came in last. Lucky for them, it wasn't an elimination challenge, so they got to stay. And I found out not all girls punch like girls. I survived that, but one team won't survive today. This is the Redonculus Race. Last time on the Redonculus Race, some teams had more fun than others. The ants came marching one by one, and an alliance between the sisters and the twins ended before it started. The pressures of the race started to get to the daters. The ice dancers came in first. And we said so long to the vegans who came in last and were cut from the competition. Sadly, their flight home crash landed on a small island populated by cannibals. <laughs> it's weird, I can't even think about it without laughing. <laughs> now get ready for more deliciousness because this is the Redonculus Race. Last time on the Redonculus Race, our teams paid a visit to Count Dracula's creepy crib, and it terrified everyone. Almost. Oh yes, the Goths cracked their first smiles, but other teams cracked under the pressure. The Ice Dancers grabbed first place, and I think Emma unknowingly caught Noah's heart. Sadly, Tom and Jen had creative differences, and by the time they ironed them out, it was too late. Who will fez their way off this week? Hold on to your hats. It's time for the Redonculus Race. 
Last time on the Redonculus Race, our teams took a blistering stroll through Hawaii. The surfer dudes showed some love as they took first place. Jose found a new good luck charm. Kelly told Taylor she's not that Chipotle after all. And Carrie's heart broke into a million pieces. But it was all eyes on the daters, who became haters and arrived last. When they found out it was a non-elimination round, you could really see the joy on their faces. Let the madness continue. This is the Redonculus Race. Last time on the Redonculus Race, we struck emotional gold in Dubai. Carrie gave up on the game of love. The ex-daters tried to give each other the silent treatment, which was a refreshing change from when they were psychoing out loud. And Kelly finally gave Taylor a timeout, which cost them the race. But hey, a healthy relationship with your daughter's worth a million bucks. Not! And last but not least, a new alliance was born. Is it more than just an alliance? Your guess is as good as mine. But mine matters more because I'm on TV. This is the Redonculus Race. Last time on the Redonculus Race, our teams got skewered in China. And even though they say love conquers all, it seems hate is also very effective. The daters came in first. And while it was sweet that the rockers tried, they totally crashed. But it was a non-elimination round, so they lived to fail another day. These 12 proud teams remain. Time to send one of them packing, because this is the Redonculus Race. Last time on the Redonculus Race, things got heated. The Goths found the source of all the ice dancers' bad luck, Jose's unlucky Hawaiian lava rock. Rock was surprised when his bud spud surprisingly rocked. And to save Noah, Emma nudged the twins into last place and off the show. Where will we go next and who's going to hate it the most? Find out right now on the Redonculus Race. Last time on the Redonculus Race, Dwayne feared he'd lost Junior for good, and Stephanie tried to lose Ryan for good. Devin told Junior he's too young for Carrie, while Dwayne started to realize his little boy is becoming a little man. And after a detour to return their cursed Hawaiian lava rock, the ice dancers came in last. But it was a non-elimination round, so they're still in it. We're halfway through the race, and these 11 teams are halfway closer to $1 million. I have no idea what'll happen next, but we're about to find out, right here on The Redonculus Race. Last time on The Redonculus Race, our teams were sent to the big house, and friends became enemies. Enemies became friends. And with the power of love inside him, Devin won the chance to call his special lady, and she dumped him. Wait for it. There it is. It was really sad. And it still is. Which team's gonna get dumped this week? Oh, this is too sad to watch. That's better. This is the Redonculus Race. Last time on the Redonculus Race, our bunny hunting bonanza saw the ice dancers bag, bully, and backbite their way into first place. Dumped Devin took a trip down denial until Carrie pushed him into phase two of the seven stages of breakup, blinding rage. But the worst crash and burn belonged to the stepbrothers and the rockers. Both teams lost in our nasty, and by nasty I mean fantastic, double elimination. With only nine teams remaining, things are heating up. Who's about to get burned? Time to find out. This is the Redonculus Race. Last time on the Redonculus Race, New Zealand took many of our remaining teams on a roller coaster ride of highs and lows. Dwayne tried to impress his son with a tattoo. Cool. That's for girls only. Noah and Emma hit a roadblock when she put the brakes on their romance. Ouch. But Devin went from super sad to super mad and pulled the best friends up from the bottom three to second place. Someone's bound to be going home tonight, but who? Can't wait to find out on this episode of The Redonculus Race. Last time on The Redonculus Race, our teams were full of beans. Who knew so many people hated beans? Emma told Noah they could get back together once the race was over. Total bull is what happened next. But Dwayne and Junior really connected, then caught several connecting flights home after being eliminated. Only eight teams remain, so things are bound to get fierce, starting right now on The Redonculus Race. Last time on The Redonculus Race, 
We saw some serious head games, and headier games, and even headier games, literally. And the headiest of all games came when the haters scored the boomerang and used it on themselves. <laughs> Take that yourselves. But in the end, love was in the air, and so was hate. <sighs> Did it just get cold in here? Oh, right, we're still in the Arctic. Well, now it's time to heat things up. This is the Redonkulous Race. Last time on the Redonkulous Race, the final eight teams went to Flores, Indonesia. There were dragons and poison, great displays of bravery, and a little bit of cuddling. The dancers made a dirty play for gold, but the goths won by a hair, which is a fancy word for rabbit. And sadly, the reality TV pros were sent home after failing to reach the carpet. But today's a new day, and anything can happen, because this is the Redonkulous Race. Last time on the Redonkulous Race, Lady Luck took us to Vegas, baby. The Goths made some magic happen and snatched first place. Devin finally realized that he's in love with his best friend, Carrie. Unfortunately, that was after he fed her to the lions, which made Carrie decide she was all done with loving Devin. They came in last, but when they found out it was a non-elimination, well, you could have knocked Devin out with a punch to the face. Who'll get knocked out this week? Let's find out. It's time for the Redonkulous Race. Last time on the Redonkulous Race, things got spicy in Mexico. Devin picked a potent pepper to impress Carrie, but the pepper won. The ice dancers were headed for gold until once again, MacArthur's glutes got the job done. But the ice dancers did succeed in ousting those creepy goths. Who'll disappear this week? Find out right now on the Redonkulous Race. Last time on the Redonkulous Race. There are plenty of fish in the sea, but none as ugly as the ones we saw last time. Devin's eye troubles gave his team a real disadvantage that actually worked out for them in the most grotesque way possible. A three-way alliance tied the Axis of Evil for first place, while the other three-team alliance headed underground. In the end, I had to say goodbye to my brohemes, the surfers. The word dude will never sound as sweet to my ears again. Hopefully this week I get to kick off a team I don't like. Stick around, it's time for the Redonkulous Race. Last time on the Redonkulous Race, our teams got down and dirty, dirty, dirty. Most teams rose to the occasion, but Sanders plummeted seven full miles thanks to MacArthur. Sander's arm was severely broken, but her spirits weren't, so she decided to stay in the race. We're down to the final five. Let's see who's gonna survive on the Redonkulous Race. Last time on the Redonkulous Race, Sanders wore her new cast and the pants as MacArthur let her take charge of all team decisions. Devin told the sisters the truth about his feelings for Carrie. Sometimes the truth hurts. Maybe next time he should tell Carrie. The evil Axis lived up to its name and quickly fell apart, evilly. The haters fell back in love and returned to being the daters, right before they became the losers and got sent home. We're down to our final four teams, battling it out for one million dollars. Who will survive the next set of challenges? Time to find out here on The Redonkulous Race. Previously on The Redonkulous Race, the final... Previously on the Redonkulous Race, the final four hit Argentina. The sisters got targeted, but were saved by the non-elimination bell. And Devin finally told Carrie he'd fallen in love with her right before he fell off a mountain. Ouch! The best friends had to quit, but first they got to pick an eliminated team to replace them in the final four. And they chose the surfers, Jeff and Brody. TV's greatest bromance is back, and this time they're in it to win it. Or not, who cares? The dudes are back. The ice dancers, the police cadets, the sisters, the surfers. These final four teams have battled in 21 countries and crossed 111 time zones so far. Now the real challenge begins. From this moment on, it's a non-stop race to the finish line. Teams who slow down will get left behind. Welcome to part one of the grand finale of the most stupendous television show ever! This is The Redonkulous Race. Previously on part one of the Redonkulous Race grand finale, 
Our final four teams found maps and searched for underwater treasure, a challenge that for Jose and Kitty seemed impossible to finish. It was another photo finish at the carpet, but the sisters came in last and were cut from the race. And there was no rest for the weary as the race raced right on. Who's got what it takes to win? Find out right here, right now, on the explosive grand finale of The Redonkulous Race.